Today, we welcome back into the studio, Jennifer Alvarez Linguiti, and she is the owner of Purely You Spa, which is a proactive, functional health organic spa. That is pretty darn cool. That's a lot. <laughs> she is also, which is, it, it, this is the part that we're really going to dive into today. She is trained in functional medicine and will soon be a fully, or a functional medicine practitioner. And you're trained in holistic healing and therapies and all of that good stuff. So we're going to talk about that today because it's so fascinating. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. Wonderful. And I loved our last conversation. We were talking about stress relief. Now, going into that, I know some people say there's no such thing as balance. You can't have balance of work and life. Um, But then other people are like, but yes, you can. Okay. If I say that to you, do you agree that there's balance? And if so, what does that look like to you or what should it look like to us? Well, I think the biggest thing is having healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries brings us balance. And it's recognizing what's your priority. And you have to put yourself as a priority so that you can take care of yourself so that you can continuously be an asset to your family. Self-care. Exactly. Yes. Focus on yourself. And you can do that by exactly that, self-care. So making time to do the things that are important, making time to eat, making time to drink, Mm -hmm. you know, to hydrate yourself, making time for the exercise. And then also having, again, I always say, having fun is key. Mm -hmm. It's very, very important. So at the same time, you have, you know, obviously you have to juggle family Mm -hmm. and also work, you know, so having, having the work-life balance is really important. So, you know, you, we go through our daily lives, right. And, And we're kind of on autopilot a lot of the times and we don't realize it until it's too late until something gets out of balance. Right. Right. And we go, Oh, why isn't this working? I'm feeling stuck or I'm frustrated or I'm grumpy all the time. Okay. And and that's how I mean, I can realize that something is out of balance, but how do we move that needle to change that? Well, I think it's, you know, the first thing that needs to be done is recognizing that there's a problem and recognizing where the feeling is coming from. And once you decipher exactly where the problem is, then you can find a solution to the problem. And, you know, ultimately it lies in, I've put in too much time at work or I've put in too much time having fun and it's all skewed, right? Right. Because something is, the wheel is going to fall off the wagon somewhere, right? I think the big thing is, is really determining what you want your week to look like Mm -hmm. and doing that in a proactive way. So that way, if you only want to be at work till five o'clock, that your alarm goes off at five o'clock or you tell your, your, you know, second line or someone to kick you out. (laughs) (laughs) How many times have I tried that? (laughs) I'm like, just a minute, just one more minute. (laughs) And it's so true. Like, especially entrepreneurs, we are we're perfectionists. We want to, we want to complete things that we start. We're wired it's differently. It's so hard to stop. I know it's so yeah. hard to stop something that you're so in deep with, but it's, you want to think about your family that's at home, mm-hmm. you know, they're waiting for you. Right. And you want to think about all these other things that you have to do to, to have the cool, the whole right. thing balanced. So, yeah. And then I eat the guilt though, right? Mm-hmm. There's always guilt. And I, I talk about my, guilt as a mother. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should be doing this. I should be doing this. And, you know, you have to balance that out too, because it's not all, um, it's not all as it seems, mm-hmm. right? Um, I think we can, we can have everything that we want, but again, we have to figure out in what portions. Yes. And you just made me think about something. And I think the listeners would probably really like this, but it's, it's, a book called The Four Agreements. Oh, I love Don uh, Miguel you, Ruiz. You yes. Know, so, so much, so much of what we think throughout our day has been predetermined. Mm-hmm. You know, As, so many people have told us things that we've just kind of believed, and and so we have to deprogram our mind from from feeling guilty because 
we have to work, you mm -hmm. know, we have to, there's certain things that has to, that have to be done and we are only one person. So we have to not feel that, you know, mm -hmm. guilty for working. You know, we just have to make sure that we are being honest with ourselves as to, okay, what do we want to do? If we want to be home by five, mm -hmm. how do we make it right. happen? Exactly. And then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to switch gears a little bit here. I know that you are really big into the space of functional medicine. Just give me a quick blurb. What is functional medicine? I've heard you talk about it, but it's like speaking Greek to me. I have no idea what that is. Well, it's basically finding the root cause of diseases and being proactive. So a functional health is really different than like what you would consider regular Western medicine. In Western medicine, you have symptoms and then you have prescriptions mm -hmm. that mask symptoms. So you go to the doctor, you have symptoms. And so they have a certain specific protocol that they have to abide by. And it's basically a reactive approach. Mm -hmm. So the, the approach that, that we take with functional health is more of a proactive approach. It's okay, let's take a look at your DNA, your genes. Let's see how your body is operating. Let's see what's going on inside. Do you have specific bacteria? Do you have parasites? Do you have worms? What's going on? And it's not something that people will just know. Mm -hmm. So we have to really dig deeper. And there's different types of tests and lab tests to be able to, to conquer what's going on in the body. Is your closet overflowing? Or maybe your kids' closets are as well. Or maybe you just want to redecorate your house. If you're wondering what to do with all that stuff that you've accumulated, bring it all to True Fashionistas or even ship it to them for free. They'll sell your unwanted items for you, take away all the hassle by doing all the work, and all you have to do is sit back and collect your money. You can reach out to them online at truefashionistas.com, come into the store, or check them out on Facebook or Instagram, and that's truefashionistas.com. All right, friends, but we are back with Jennifer Alvarez Linguiti, and we are talking about functional health. And you had just mentioned, you know, there's tests that you can do and all this and that. Does it just apply to the major diseases like cancer or dementia or all those things? Or could it also apply to, I've got a cold? What can I do? So when people have a cold, there's different things that you can do to boost your immune system, like going in the infrared sauna, making sure that you have vitamin D, enough vitamin D in your system, zinc, magnesium. Magnesium is the most important element. If you have cramps, taking magnesium glycinate is really, really good. So we help boost your immune system, strengthen your mitochondria, which is the strongest, mm -hmm. you know, it helps with you, you know, it's a powerhouse of your body. And so we strengthen your immune system. And then also we can dig deeper with the, with a lab test. And it's not only for, you know, cancer, like stuff like that. It's really being proactive. It's okay. Let's see what is going on in your gut. Mm, let's right. check your stool, you know, and we can know exactly the type of bacteria that you have and, and know exactly how to conquer it. So I've heard so much lately about gut biomes mm -hmm. that all falls into that, doesn't it? Absolutely. And you know, a lot of the food in this country has genetically modified ingredients. Mm -hmm. And some people, you know, really are sensitive to that. And then you have also a lot of parasites in the foods that, and that's that so people are gross eating. to it think is about, so isn't gross. it? And then, you know, if people like sushi, <laughs> oh, I'm just saying oh no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's so much in our foods that we're eating. And so knowing what's in your body so mm -hmm. that you can really take get that handled is really key. So what's a benefit from doing the functional medicine way versus the Western way of, okay, you're sick, here's medicine? So I do have a, a great respect for Western medicine. I think it's really important to integrate both, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think uh, Western medicine doctors and, uh, you know, practitioners, they're so wonderful about, you know, 
taking care of catastrophes, you know, mm -hmm. emergency rooms and, you know, right. these types of things where we have to react quick. And so, and, and also standard care, it's all very important. But then when you, when you add on uh, Eastern medicine and functional health, it's taking, again, it's a proactive approach. So it helps to eliminate the Western medicine mm -hmm. drugs that people are, are given because we're boosting their natural immunities. We're boosting their, their system to conquer. So it can help you proactively, but it also can help you if, if you get sick. There's absolutely. things you can do in functional medicine. Oh, absolutely. Yes, yes. yes. And there's so many different protocols in, in functional medicine as well. And, uh, and also, I'm not sure if you've heard of this term, but biohacking. Biohacking. Oh, so what? <laughs> I've, I've heard of cyber attacks and um, identity, but <laughs> what is it? Well, biohacking is a concept that I am pioneering here in Collier oh, wow. County in this area, but it is more known in some of the big, bigger cities, but over here in this area, people really haven't been talking about it, but it's using technology to reverse aging and optimize oh, sign me your up. life. <laughs> sign and me up. When, when can I come? So we what? have over, wow. we have over 20 pieces of technology at purely use spa. And it is amazing to really help people on a cellular level. There's nothing like it. Wow. Yeah. It's, I'm so very give me an example. Tell me, tell me what well, I can besides do. Besides <laughs> the cold plunge and the infrared sun, yeah. the infrared sun is one of my favorites. It's also has chromotherapy, which is light therapy that targets different organs of so the body. So it's hot? Yes. It stimulates the body from the inside out. So it reduces inflammation, helps with pain, weight loss. <laughs> so do you, do you go from the cold plunge to the infrared or the infrared to the cold plunge? It depends on the protocol. It depends on the what's best for that particular mm -hmm. person. If we are trying to stimulate the immune system to boost the immune system. Yeah. I mean, going back and forth is really fabulous because it yeah. really stimulates the immune system. Yeah. And so those are just two, but we also have this other technology that strengthens the mitochondria. We put a cannula around the nose and it's almost like oxygen throughout your body. It's amazing. But what is it? Oh my gosh. It, <laughs> I wish Do I could tell. I wish I could show, show you a picture. Um, you know, you have to try it. You just have to try. It. Yeah. It's basically a technology that converts the distilled water into a form that your body recognizes to again strengthen the cells inside your body and it helps pave the way for detoxification. Wow. Yeah. So as we age, our cells just naturally don't aren't as strong. Mm -hmm. And so this helps to strengthen the cells inside your body. So I love that. That's one of my favorite things to do. Bio I mean, I, yeah. I've honestly, I may have heard the term, but never really understood what that means. Yeah. So you have machines so and tools machines. and mm -hmm. you have those machines. I have machines. <laughs> she got the machine. I'm the machine lady. No, wow. Saying. Yeah. So besides our staff having over 15 years of experience, we have technology that really sets us apart from our competition. That is pretty amazing. I think so too. I, I need so to come too. try that. You have to. It's amazing. I, you know, I've been dealing with this cold forever. And maybe I can hot or cold plunge yes. <laughs> infrared it out of me. Oh, yes. We can do it <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That is so, so cool. Well, I have loved having you on and learning about functional medicine. And I am definitely going to try it. And I urge our listeners to try it. And um, it just sounds like it just could be amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. And if anyone is interested in learning more, we do a 15 minute complimentary consultation. Okay. And I'd be happy to help them. And they can go to purelyuspa.com and they can be me at jen at purelyuspa.com. Awesome. Thank you so much again for being on. Thanks for having me. And thank you, friends, for joining me today and every week here on The Competent Entrepreneur brought to you by True Fashionistas. If you want more information on my online courses or my coaching, head to my website, jenniferannjohnson.com. Have a fabulous day.